Five years, two names, and a thousand kills. Shelly Stafford enrolled early at Baylor on blind faith because they, she had a coach she'd never met that had just been hired. But after two All-American selections, Stafford is hoping to cap off her career by taking Baylor's volleyball program to new heights in 2019. Kind of gone through ups and downs along the way. Life as a college athlete can be like a roller coaster. My freshman year, I came in as an early high school grad in January. Um, New coaches came in, so I was not sure what to expect. We were forced to have a relationship, but neither one of us chose it. And that's been true for Shelly Stafford as well. The road at Baylor for her has spanned two names. Known and loved by many as Shelly Fanning, her name changed in May when she got married in Costa Rica. We joke about it. She, she came uh, freshman year, and uh, it was probably about boys and volleyball, maybe. and. Um, probably in that order at some, some days of the week. Best week of my life for sure. Just getting to marry the most amazing man that I've ever met and um, probably one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. The newlywed is the lone player on the Baylor volleyball roster who was not recruited by fifth year coach Ryan McGuire. In spite of that, she broke the Baylor single season hitting percentage record twice. But her journey in green and gold was filled with speed bumps. An injury her true freshman year in 2015 forced her to redshirt her sophomore season and sit out. Then in 2018, as a redshirt junior, she played through enormous pain. Last season I played with a stress injury in my shin and then a torn labrum in my shoulder. Stafford had surgery in the offseason followed by a painful six-month recovery. She had no rust. Like That was one of the most impressive things of, of the preseason was how quickly she was out there being who she was, still being really, really good. No rust because of a good support system, which made what are often low points for so many athletes so much easier to deal with. It was improvement from the first time she was fighting injury, heading into the 2016 year. My dad was dealing with uh, cancer, so that has that was probably like the lowest of low, I would say. Um, yeah, so in like injuries and kind of other things, it all puts it into perspective, you know. Shelly spent most of her red shirt year when she couldn't play or travel with the team driving back and forth to be there for her family. You know, and nobody felt bad that she missed the practice or she was gone because, you know, we want to cherish those times with those that love us most. He wasn't nobody's promise like another day, but he definitely defeated his odds and um, just seeing him in the stands like cheering me on every single day is so cool and having him walk me down the aisle at my wedding was also super cool. He's a walking miracle. And with that inspiration driving her, Shelly Stafford is on a mission in 2019 because with time, we're not guaranteed that there's one thing we can learn. It's to cherish every chance we have. I did make a name for Shelly Fanning, but I think I'm just really excited to see uh, what this new name brings, you know? Friday night in the Bears' second straight win over powerhouse program Wisconsin. This one on the road. Stafford surpassed the 1,000 kill mark. Baylor's home opener is scheduled for 7 p.m. Thursday night against the University of Houston. We'll be right back.